Hi everyone, it's Chris Tilley from Pantaneous Sail and Motor Yacht Insurance. I'm here with Brian Gatt from MPS Marine Protection Systems. And today we are talking about sail drives. We've got a brand new yacht being commissioned. Um, Brian, you work with plenty of sail drives. Can you ex quickly explain to us what is a sail drive and why do some yachts have them over shaft drives? Okay, so sail drives are made by two major companies. One's Yanma, the other one's Volvo. They're ultimately a lot more compact, so instead of taking up quite a large amount of room in your vessel to have shafts protrude through the hull, they're a lot shorter. So typically this style of boat would take up that much room for the entire sail box region. Um, it's fairly compact, it provides the correct amount of depth, it's low, you don't have to have propeller shaft brackets or additional bearings, and it's fully compact and enclosed. So it's a really nice little unit. We've got a flexing prop on the outside, which enables some really easy uh, control of the boat and less drag, um, less materials to go wrong, and less exposed area. So it's quite an efficient way of running a boat. Most boats are going down that path now. So that explains to us what a sail drive is. Can you walk us through what happens if this unit goes neglected and is not properly maintained. Okay, so typically in this unit here you've got water intakes, which enables water to help cool the engine down. If there's growth on top of those units all build up inside here, it will limit the amount of water going inside the engine to keep it cool. Secondly, you've got bearings and also anodes in this structure. If that starts to create a problem and you reduce the amount of uh, movement, it can also create further additional long-term problems with the drive unit itself. So obviously this one is brand new. She's yet to have splashed. What is the best practice to keep the sail drive units looking like this and not the corroded, corroded version one. that <laughs> both of us have seen on board Many other times. yachts. Okay, so best practice with boats. Um, any boat, we always tell people to keep them, keep a good vigil eye on the drives. There are a lot of different environmental conditions and also conditions on the boat, which can change the way the coatings work. Secondly, the anodes, the way they work as well. So one year typically may have the anodes last 12 months really easy. The next year, depending on location, environment, and also vessel influences, it may only last six months. So always keep an eye on sail drive anodes. You've got two anodes on this particular system, one protecting the uh, flexifold prop. This anode typically goes a little bit quicker than what this one here does because they're an isolated system, they're all independent. So always keep an eye on anodes. Again, location, environment, onboard structures will depend on how long anodes last for. Recommended to use proper trades, whether a Volvo Tech, a Yanmar Tech, or a good quality marine mechanic to undergo regular maintenance. We typically say yearly in and out of the water, at most. We recommend to also have divers or yourself inspect the boats quite regularly to ensure that there's nothing sinister going on with your particular boat. Things do change on boats. Things age, and we want to make sure that you don't have holes in your sail drive. Brian, thank you very much for the explanation on sail drives. We hope that everyone's taken something away from this and how to properly maintain your boat to continue to use it safely and enjoyably in the future.